how's it goes? Some of you may remember I made a post a little while ago about um, offshore fishing with regards to charters and pricing and things like that. We got quite a quite a cool response from the guys, so I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. Um, we got a nice snook here uh, from a good mate of mine, Glenn Tredenick, off the boat Overdraft 2. Um, some, some very good catches of snook at the moment off of Cape Point. So we figured we'd just show you guys how I personally fleck a snook. Um, everybody may have their own ways of doing it, so please if you disagree, you're entitled to that, but um, this is the way I do it. Um, so what you need is obviously a nice clean surface. I have rinsed it off. There's a little bit of gunk coming from the fish itself. Um, nothing to concern yourself about there. So it's very important you have a nice sharp knife. This knife got from a very good friend of mine, Gareth Morrison from African Mar Maritime Services. It's an absolute champ of a knife. Um, I'm not sure if he still supplies them, but we'll tag him in the video and see if maybe Uncle Gareth can give us some more info on these knives. But definitely a must have. All right, so ideally you'd want something like a Hessian sack on here um, or a towel, but as you can imagine, I value my life and I wouldn't want my wife to come home and see me with the, <laughs> one of her bath towels over here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take the snook's head off. Some guys like to flick it with the head on, some don't. I personally don't like the head. However, I do have some here that will eat it and I'll clean that a little bit later. So first things first is head off. The snook's neck was broken, so it should come off with relative ease. And simple as that. All right, then we're gonna, I just wanna rinse this knife. Please be careful as well. Be sparing, yes. water restrictions. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here at the tail and we're basically gonna cut down to the spine. We're gonna bring the knife all the way along to the top here and begin to opening, begin opening the fish. So, all the way in. From here, all the way down the spine. Okay, you lift gently with your fingers and basically you want to now peel it off the, the spine there like that. Okay, so you'll see now, over here, at the back of the fish, you'll be able to follow the spine all the way down. Okay, but as you get here to the middle of the fish, you can see there, there's his, his rib cage essentially. So at this point, we're going to push the knife through the rib cage and cut down. We don't want to do that there. Okay, so you can hear the knife going in. Pull towards you like that. Continue to open him up like so. And there we go. You've now opened up your fish. So over here, this over here is called roe or snook cater, some call it. It's basically the fish eggs for those of you that don't know. And this stuff is actually very nice, if you, especially if you fry it in some garlic and butter and you serve it on toast or something like that, it's really lacquer. So we'll always put the snook row one side. The, for the rest of the insides, I'll just make a small trim there, take that off. Now you see this blood over here, you want to get rid of that. It just makes the meat go like a brown colour, it's very strong in taste. You can eat it, but it's a personal choice, I don't. I try and get it, get rid of as much of it as possible. And same for this side over here. But I'm gonna show you a trick now for this side to make taking this blood out a bit easier. Um, so what you're gonna do, just turn the fish around so it's easier for you to see. Okay, you're gonna go in here, in between the bone. Okay, just gonna make an incision like that. And you're gonna do this all the way down. Okay. Once you've cut down, you're going to go up against that bone. You're going to take the meat off of the bone, up at the top. And here we go. Now, there's the rest of that blood. Much easier to take that blood off once you've um, separated the spine from the meat from the spine over there. Same for over here. It works quite nicely if you use like a, a scrubbing brush and you can get in there and take all of that blood off. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we'll just trim off some of this excess stuff here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it a, a rinse off with some fresh water. And once we've done that, we're going to put a bit of salt on him. We're going to hang it on the washing line before the wife gets home. Okay, and that is... Are you flick the snook? 
Um, really, really simple, really easy. Um, as I said, that's the way that I do it. I know that there's many guys that may do it differently. I'm not sure how different it would be, but that's the way I do it. Just another note, you see this over here. A lot of guys refer to this as worm. Um, okay. Uh, there's many different stories about it. Some say it's, it's a fatty tissue. Some say it is a worm of sorts. This, guys, is not going to do anything to you. Okay, it might not look that nice, but I mean, once you've cooked this fish, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, and it's perfectly edible. Okay, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, and if you like the videos and you'd like more, um, let us know. Um, like I said, this is the first time we're doing something like this. So if you like it, let me know. Tell me, uh, tell me what else you'd like me to show you. Bearing in mind, I come from the boat side of things, so my kind of fishing is more boat orientated, catching tuna, snook, yellowtail, reef fish, that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, if you're interested in a charter, we've got a page, Big Sickle Fishing Adventures. Please don't be afraid, go over to the website, have a look. Um, it's on Facebook as Big Sickle Fishing. There's a couple of videos that are up and coming now from like the October comp we just fished. Um, so yeah, if you like it, give it a like, let us know, give us your feedback, let us know what else you'd like to see. All the best guys, good luck, enjoy, tight lights.